Good morning, Stratford. I'm Cooper Basket. And I'm Harrison Brown. Today is Thursday, November 12th, and it's an A day. Today's weather forecast calls for a chance of rain with a high of 82 degrees. Happy birthday to senior Jay Smith. Here are head of school Mr. Logan Bolds and head of upper school Mrs. Teresa Ferrari for a special announcement. Good morning, Miss Ferrari. Good morning, Mr. Bolds. There we go. <laughs> oh, okay. Good morning, Eagles. I wanted to, uh, both of us really, sit down and kind of begin discussing with you what our expectations are for this football game on Friday night. You're about to watch a video um, with our pep club representative, Miss Claudia Pope, and myself, and some representatives from FPD. Now, before you see the video, we just wanted to make it very clear that we expect all students, all representatives of Stratford Academy to remain on their very best behavior during this game. I don't care if we win. Well, of course I care if I, we win and lose, but I care about how we win and how we respond and how we lose and how we respond. You will, just like in every situation, respond with grace and class to regardless, the out, regardless of the outcome. And I just want to say a word about the fence. The fence is not coming down. You're not going to touch the fence. You're not going to climb over the fence. You're not going to push the fence down. In fact, if I see any of you even looking at the fence, I'm going to suspend you. And I'm not kidding. Now, um, I'm so excited about this game. I'm going to be there. Go Eagles. I am so excited about this game and the fun that we're going to have that I volunteer to do the first seven push-ups when you get your first touchdown. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, off to the video. Let's take a look. Hey, Vikings. And hey, Eagles. We are so excited for our upcoming football game this Friday night. There is nothing better than a fun hometown rivalry. And we are excited for our two schools to come together in a friendly competition. But before we step under these Friday night lights, we wanted to review our expectations for a healthy competition. Like Mr. Bolds and Dr. Patterson said, we are looking forward to an exciting and fun game this Friday. Exactly, Claudia. And a healthy student section and healthy competition means cheering on our teams and not taunting the other side. The point of a student section at a game is to uplift and cheer on our school to victory. No inappropriate signs, cheers, chants, or gestures will be tolerated by either school. Negative comments on social media are also not allowed, and students should remain on their side of the field, and under no circumstances will they be allowed to charge the field after the game. Additionally, as we continue to help stop the spread of the coronavirus, all students on both sides of the field are required to wear masks. Students who are constantly reminded to put on their mask or pull their mask up may be asked to leave the game. Remember, we're all friends outside of school, so there should be no difference at a football game. Go Vikings! If you have any questions about what is allowed, don't hesitate to ask one of us or your division head. Go Eagles! Thanks for listening, Viking Nation. We are so blessed to have a school like Stratford down the road, and we can't wait to welcome you to our beautiful campus this week. And I look forward to cheering the Vikings to victory. Thanks for listening, Eagles. We too are lucky to have FPD as neighbors, and I'm looking forward to an Eagle victory here on Friday night. But regardless of who wins, as, as always, go, go Eagles! Vikings. Quick reminder about the uniform coat. Children, remember that your outer wear cannot be any color of your choice or your sweaters cannot be any color of your choice. They need to be in those boring colors, navy, gray, black, brown, those sorts of colors. Colors. Everybody must have a colored shirt on at all times. Even if, you, even if you're wearing a Stratford sweatshirt, you must have a Stratford collared shirt on underneath that. And then boys, a reminder, no cargo shorts except on spirit days. They have to be... Uh, a, a dress type of short and they should not be a PFG or an AFTCO or anything of that sort. Quick reminder about Spirit Day dress code attire. Spirit Days are all about cheering on for the Eagles. So your outfit cannot be anything other than a Stratford 
um, t-shirt, Stratford sweatshirt, what have you. This is not the time to show where you went during the summer. It's not the time to show what college football team that you vote for or you root for. It has to be Stratford attire to show our support for Stratford. Uh, again, boys, no sweat point pants, no bathing suits. Girls, your jeans should not have holes, uh, rips or tears or frays on them. Just nicely, um, nicely maintained jeans on. So remember, when we dress for Spirit Day, we're here to support the Eagles and nothing else. Small group discussions hosted by the DEI Alliance will meet during an extended break today from 10 o'clock to 10.45 a.m. Check your app's email for your room assignments. Student flu shots will be available for all students this week. The preschool and lower school shots will be given on Thursday, November 12th. Any faculty member who wants a flu shot should report to the preschool clinic between 9 a.m. and 1 p.m. today and the lower school clinic between 1 and 3 p.m. on Friday. The food drive continues this week and next week. Please bring canned goods or a monetary donation. Stratford's annual Bed for Falls book fair continues in the Olson Library through Friday. There will be a meeting of the Quiz Bowl today at 345 in the Derogi Room. The boys and girls swimming will be at the Northside Pool tonight at 8 p.m. The football team is at FPD Friday night with the kickoff starting at 7.30. The theme is whiteout. This is a huge game and we would love to see all students attend. Attention all seniors. The I have read the packet form is due, printed, initialed, and signed today by 3.50. You can drop it off in the crate outside of Miss Fleming's door. There will be a school-wide pep rally on Friday during break at the football stadium. All varsity JV and middle school cheerleaders and the band will dismiss at 9.45 a.m. Have a wonderful day, Eagles.